Hi guys, Johnny Good here for Real Home Studio. So I received this question on one of my Presonus Eris 4.5 videos. Should I return these pairs and buy the previous version with that acoustic and low cut switch because there are a bunch of stores still selling those pairs? Do these switches make any difference or should I go with ones that I got already? And yes indeed, there has been a change in design from the original Eris 4.5s to the newer version. Let's dive straight in. So to clear things up, yes the newer version of the Presonus Eris 4.5 monitors does have different acoustic tuning functions and has been somewhat simplified from the original model that's behind me, which featured a mid and a high knob control, as well as two sliders for low cutoff and acoustic space. The newer versions just featuring two knobs for high and low acoustic tuning. So the acoustic space slider switch, what was it all about? Let's check it out in the Presonus manual. When a monitor is placed close to a wall or in a corner, the low frequencies tend to be emphasized more than if the monitor is far from any room boundary. This effect is called boundary bass boost. It is most pronounced if the monitor is in a corner and less pronounced, but present if the monitor is near one wall dot to compensate for this bass boost. The Eris E4.5 provides an acoustic space switch that cuts cell frequencies below 1 kHz by a fixed amount. Dot if the monitors are close to the corners of the room, start by setting the acoustic space switch to minus 4 dB, which provides the most bass attenuation. Dot if the monitors are close to the back wall, try setting the acoustic space switch to minus 2 dB for less attenuation. So whilst it's a shame to see that acoustic space gone, indeed in the space I'm working in, which is quite challenging, I always keep mine rolled off at minus 2 dB, it seems Persona still feel that if you have the newer version, you can get similar results by rolling off some of the low end with your control knob. You can, of course, greatly improve your own acoustic space by getting in the most optimal position possible and also investing in some acoustic treatment. The low cutoff switch has also been binned on the newer version. Uh, this featured uh, either a flat response, 80 hertz or 100 hertz roll off on the older versions. If you're having a real problem and require a low cutoff, then you could put a high pass filter perhaps on your mix bus whilst you're mixing and just remember to take it off uh, when you're working in headphones to monitor your low end. So why did Presonus change their design? Well, I fished around a little bit on the net and found that on the initial testing of their Bluetooth version of these 4.5s with the simpler controls, they found in sound tests that they came out better than the original design of the 4.5s. So they decided to change uh, their new product line of the 4.5s to fit in line with the rest of the Eris family. So in summary, if you've recently bought yourself a set of Presonus Eris 4.5s and you're a bit concerned and you flipped over on the back and they looked a lot different than they did online, uh, don't worry, they're both Presonus Eris 4.5s. The original version with the more complex acoustic tuning setup and the newer version with the more simplistic high and low two knob setup. I do hope that's answered the question. My name's Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to like, subscribe. Most importantly, have yourself a great day.